There are over 2 billion Christians in the world, the vast majority of whom believe in heaven and hell. You die and your soul goes either to everlasting bliss or torment, one of us likes thinking about death, but there are times when we have little choice. The virus spreads, hospitals fill, and systems become overwhelmed. Our greatest concerns, personal and national, are for survival. But for many people, even the otherwise healthy the crisis has unexpectedly raised the specter of death itself. A man who claimed to have literally lived through hell has recounted his memory of what happened when he was supposedly trapped in the underworld for 23 minutes. After having a near-death experience in 1998, Bill Wees woke up with some rather haunting memories. Wees claims that he had gotten up around 3 a.m. for a drink when he had what he describes as an out-of-body experience in which he traveled through from a long tunnel to what he thinks was hell itself. It was getting hotter and hotter and I landed on a stone floor in a prison cell in hell, he said. There were stone walls, bars, it was more like a dungeon, a dirty, stinky, smoke-filled dungeon. The heat was so unbearable that I wondered how I could be alive. Why am I here, how did I get here? He said that then he saw two huge demons in the cell, saying that they were walking through it. The creatures, which had a ferocious behavior, were cursing, according to Bill. And then they directed that hatred that they had towards God and towards me, he said. A demon picked me up and threw me against the wall of this cell. I felt as if the bones had been broken. The stench in hell is the most disgusting, putrid, disgusting smell, he said. However, before he knew it, he returned to his body. Bill we saw the searing flames of hell, felt total isolation, and experienced the putrid and rotting stench, deafening screams of agony, terrorizing demons, and finally, the strong hand of God lifting him out of the pit. He wrote a book about his experience that ended up selling millions of copies.